In the image given below, identify the foramen through which mandibular nerve passes through. So basically, we'll have to find out the uh, foramen through which mandibular nerve passes. And uh, we know that the there is a foramen called as foramen oval and we have a mnemonic for the passing structure from this that is male here m stands for mandibular nerve a stands for uh, accessory meningeal artery l stands for lesser petrosal nerve and e stands for emissary veins that connects cavernous sinus with pterygoid plexus of vein okay so these are the things which we have to remember so there is a foramen called foramen oval that give passage to the mandibular nerve okay so basically we will have to identify the foramen oval from here so a here a points uh, i'll just enlarge this so that we can see a better view so a basically points at towards the cribriform plate this is a cribriform plate and through this which structure passes the structure which passes through this is going to be your olfactory nerves olfactory nerves actually this cribriform plate is a part of the ethmoid bone and it separates the anterior cranial fossa from your nasal cavity okay then b is there now here it is going uh, in dark completely so if this is the condition you have to see the contralateral the other way here you will be seeing uh, it must be pointing towards here right b must be pointing towards here and this is going to be your sphenoid bone okay greater wing of the sphenoid bone that forms the middle cranial fossa and here we have uh, the uh, structures uh, the foramens which are there they are remembered by the trick r o s okay so this is going to be s this is going to be your o r stands for foramen rotundum o stands for foramen oval and s stands for your spinosum foramen spinosum now here we have to find out the foramen oval now this one here this side this one will be this one okay so b is going to be your foramen rotundum that gives passage to maxillary artery it is going to be maxillary artery and you can remember this by maximum round r stands for round here so it is a round foramen so maximum round means maxillary artery that's how you can remember it then you have this one that is going to be your foramen oval that is marked by c and this is going to give passage to the structures called your male m is the many uh, m is going to be your mandibular nerve and that is what we have to find here as well right then the fourth structure uh, which is marked by d here is going to be internal acoustic meters here it is in the posterior cranial fossa it is going to be internal acoustic meters and this internal acoustic meters generally give passage to cranial nerve number 7 and 8 that is facial nerve and your uh, auditory nerve so these are the various structure which we have read here and if we just uh, look at freshly in a better uh, view so you will be able to see this is going to be your sphenoid bone this is going to be lesser wing of the sphenoid bone which is a part of anterior cranial fossa now this is the middle cranial fossa where you will be seeing this area is going to be the uh, greater wing of the sphenoid here r is there o is there and s is there r is going to be foramen rotunda maxillary artery o is there uh, which is foramen oval and s is there which is going to be foramen spinosa here this is your internal acoustic moisture giving rise to or giving passage to the uh, seventh and eighth cranial now then we have the jugular foramen this which is just be behind this okay so the jugular foramen give a uh, passage to three cranial nerves 9 10 and spinal part of your 11th okay so this is how we can remember the different foramens here so uh, quickly let's see the explanation the foramen oval transmits mnemonic is male 
M is mandibular nerve, A is accessory mandibular nerve, L is lesser petrosal nerve, and then E is emissary vein that connects cavernous sinus and pterygoid plexus of vein. Anterior trunk of middle meningeal vein occasionally passes through this particular foramen. So coming back to the question here, C is going to be your foramen oval that passes your mandibular nerve. So answer is going to be C that is third.